Hi, I'm Arlen Walker and I am live from Pelham's Wasteland and today I am back with another episode of RPG A Day 2021. Today's word is stream for the 8th of August. And I think this is an interesting one to talk about because there's sort of two things that this makes me think of. One of them is sort of stream of consciousness. Um, and I think that's something that is uh, really interesting. I'm really interested in the idea of kind of bringing across um, more literary narrative techniques into our RPGs. I'm not always sure how to do it, but I'm really interested in the idea of doing that for um, as a way to expand our storytelling potential in RPGs. So I'm not really... Like I said, I'm not really sure how to do stream of consciousness in an RPG. Um, seems like it would be very difficult with a whole bunch of characters um, to kind of keep everybody, keep enough touchstones in play that everybody feels like they're experiencing the same thing and having the same sort of... Um, that everybody's on the same page, basically. But I think there's probably some stuff you could do, and I bet as a game master you could come up with some ways. There are probably some games, honestly, that use more kind of stream of consciousness techniques. So probably uh, if you know anything like that, uh, let me know. The other element of streaming, of course, is streaming like this, uh, recording videos. In my case, I do mostly recording. I don't really live stream very much. I do every once in a while. Uh, get on live and talk with you guys despite despite the fact that my channel name is live from Pelham's Wasteland I don't do much live content but um, yeah the the streaming thing is always really interesting to me also on that side too um, I certainly enjoy doing this and um, I hope that it helps people I hope that it gives people ideas you know helps them uh, to sort of articulate something that they didn't know how to articulate before helps inspires thought all of that sort of stuff um, I also feel like my kind of place within streaming has changed a little bit um, I'm shifting away from the sort of emphasis on live streamed actual plays and sort of focusing more on some other stuff at least for this channel um, and obviously I haven't been playing as much on the, the Kevin Madison Dungeon Musings channel um, recently for a number of reasons, but that's sort of personal stuff. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been sort of thinking about my place within the sort of larger streaming world, for lack of a better term, because it is sort of a, an interesting um, community and there's lots of, lots of good stuff, but there's also some negative stuff, you know? I think one of the things we forget is that, um, streaming in my opinion it alters the game experience not necessarily for the worse i think that's a, a big thing to to keep in mind is that streaming doesn't make a game experience worse it just makes it a little bit different that a home game is different than a streamed game in a lot of ways and i'm finding that to be true certainly with my own games um and, you know, I've been thinking a lot about what that means for uh, what I want and what uh, the people want and what people would like to watch and all that sort of stuff. So um, I'm not sure if there are any easy answers to that. Certainly I haven't come up with any easy ones. The best that I have come up with is this um, RPG report system that I'm doing where I sort of report on what has happened in my campaigns and talk about what worked and what didn't and all of that sort of stuff. And I think that works pretty well. Um, it's not the same as like an actual play. And I would like to include, I would like to supplement that with sort of system tutorials to talk about like, you know, here's how this system works, things like that. Um, but, um, and then I would also really like to get back into solo play. And I think I'm going to, I may later today record something related to that um, because I've, I've sort of had a, an idea and I think it would be cool. So, um, but anyway, that's sort of where I fall on the streaming thing is that um, I'm enjoying it, certainly. I'm, I'm enjoying putting out content here for you guys, and I hope you guys are enjoying the, the content that I put out. Um, 
but it's it's kind of an interesting thing. It's something that I had for a long time kind of wanted to do and never was really sure how I would actually do it until relatively recently. Um, but I, I've consumed, you know, actual play content and, and let's play content for video games and, you know, vlog stuff on YouTube for a long time now. Um, I think I was, you know, back in high school when I first started watching kind of actual play stuff on YouTube. So it's not like I haven't been exposed to this sort of stuff. I just never really had, never really figured out how I would do it. And this is sort of, this this channel is kind of my attempt at doing it myself. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are enjoying the RPG Day 2021 content. Um, I'm having a blast with it. I'm really grateful to, um, uh, I can't remember the other guy's name, but Anthony Runeslinger is one of the, the guys. Dave, I think, is the, the guy that's associated with Autocratic, um, who have put together this thing. So big thanks to them for putting together RPG A Day stuff, and the 2021 version has been a lot of fun. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I've been on a little walker. I've been live from Pelham's Wasteland, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.